Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Antoine took the trip from Maryland to New Jersey. He actually hung out with us for two days. He stayed in a hotel for a night so we could do an audio upgrade on a street glide. He originally came up for an NBS Audio Stage 2. It was gonna be a four speaker setup. He was maybe thinking of Stage 2 high power. He listened for a few bikes and um, the bass just got him. So he went for a Stage 3. He didn't need a lot of volume. He just needed a little bit of bottom end. The bike has a tour pack, so um, he cut down on his storage space a little bit. Our stage three is so popular because you get to keep two thirds of your bag space. The woofers go in the back of the bags. Um, this bike has a tour pack, so he still has two thirds of each bag plus the entire tour pack. We went with the Kata CH and fairing. We went with Hertz 690 Neos in the lids. We went with Hertz 200L mid base drivers in the saddlebags. We went with two Sound Digital Evo X2800.4s. HCAT Mini DSP. The bike already had a Sony radio on it, so we kept it. Um, if the radio ever gets water damage, we're gonna upgrade to either a GTS or a Soundstream or a Diamond Audio radio, something that's weatherproof. But um, bike sounded really good. He's um, he's very, very articulate, knows exactly what kind of sound he wants. He came armed with his playlist and listened to all our bikes and he was blown away by the way we were able to make this bike sound how we were able to dial it in he was impressed at how it sounded at low volume medium volume and high volume it was an absolute pleasure hanging out with him being able to tune with him and go through his playlist um we got had lunch together got to hang out really really cool guy um he's on his way home tonight so this video post before he even makes it home he's got a four hour trip home but um it was it was a pleasure working with him i'm glad he trusted us to do this build for him Check out the build. Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. We got Antoine Street Glide. We're tearing into it. We're about to do a stage three. He wanted to do a stage two, but he heard a stage three. <laughs> His wife's going to be a little upset over the loss of storage space, but the audio is going to make it worth it. Absolutely. Check it out, what we're diving into. He bought the bike with the Sony radio, so we're going to keep it. Um, I understand why it hasn't gotten water damage, because the person did the install, went above and beyond to make sure it was protected. So I uh, guess the install was done before the water cover was available. So he made his own. I like this a lot. Um, made sure that nothing was getting in. I just don't agree with drilling into the speaker pods. But um, we're going to replace it with a water cover. But very, very, very nicely done. I like it when people go above and beyond. Looks like he used an entire jar of zip ties to make sure nothing was moving. The reason the install is solid is because somebody took their time and actually cared. Look how solid that install is. None of this stuff is moving, none of this stuff's getting wet. Hats off to whoever did the original install. I've been around and brought you down, it's true. I had some dreams and said some things to you. If I said too much, I know you're mine to lose. I had some dreams, I said some things to you.
So with the 309 water cover, everything's protected. Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Antoine took the trip from Maryland to get the audio upgraded on his bike. He actually hung out with us for two days, stayed at a hotel, got to watch the entire build. Are you completely happy the way the bike sounds? Oh, uh, completely happy. Couldn't be any happier. I'm just like a kid in a candy store right now. I'm going to enjoy this ride and this sound uh, going forward. And if you need anything done to your bike, come see Carlos. Thank you, sir. Thank you.